Hey everyone, it's Lee with Mantis Mechanics here. And have you ever sparred with somebody and it seemed like no matter what you did, how many punches you threw or kicks you threw or you went for takedowns, they were always a step ahead of you. They moved effortlessly out of the way of all your strikes. You punched them, hmm, 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 right? It's almost like fighting Neo from the Matrix when you fight these guys. Do they have some secret spidey sense that's given them a key secret power that lets them move effortlessly away from your strikes? Well, in a way, yes. And it has nothing to do with you telegraphing your strikes by pulling your hand back like this or swinging your leg out wide or throwing big haymakers. It has to do with how you're standing. So today's tip here is going to be how not to telegraph what you're about to do using your stance. Okay, so what do I mean by telegraphing with your stance? Well, if I stand like this, okay, probably I'm not going to be throwing kicks off the back leg. I'm probably not going to be throwing much punches either. Simply for the fact that if I cross, I might, if I'm going to have a narrow base, I'm going to be off balance. So I'm going to have to either step over and do this or adjust my stance another way. Okay. Mainly, I'm going to be attacking with this front leg and this front hand. I can do some spinning moves as well, but there's a lot of things that I can't really do. Right? I, I, from here, from a side stance, you probably don't have to worry about me shooting in for a takedown. There are some exceptions. Uh, scissor leg takedown comes to mind. Um, and you probably don't have to worry about me checking your kicks. If you're kicking to my leg, it's going to be very hard for me to come over here and check the kick. So an experienced fighter will see your stance, especially in beginners where they have you know, more of a neutral stance and then they want to do try a technique and they start doing this and turning their stance. They'll automatically, an experienced fighter will see that and pick up on it and know, hey, these, there's a list of things that they, he can and can't do. Okay, So your options are limited from the stance you take. Another example would be where See how my, my heel is raised off the ground? This puts my weight on my front leg. This would be more like a wrestler's stance. Okay? So from here, I'm probably, again, it's going to be very hard for me to check a kick from here. Probably I'm going to have to absorb that kick when it comes in. Okay? But I want them to kick if I'm in this stance because I'm almost daring them to kick because when they're on one leg, that's when I shoot. Right? So this person is probably more worried about shooting when they're here. Right? So if I see somebody standing like this, I'm thinking he wants to come in and take me down. He wants to rush me you know, up against the ring or up against the cage or up against the wall in your school, whatever. They want to do that to get you up and try to control you and take you down. So again, from here, you can throw punches fine that sort of thing, but um, you're not going to see a lot of footwork from these people. They're going to be mostly moving back and forth, this sort of thing. You're not going to see a lot of slick footwork and stuff like that from somebody in this big wrestler stance. Um, another, the opposite of that would be putting the weight on the back leg like this. So if I see somebody walking like this, right? I know that they're going to be punching and kicking mostly. They're probably not going to be doing takedowns, right? They're going to be easy to check the kicks, that sort of thing, because the weight is on this back leg, okay? So those are just some examples of how people telegraph in their stance. The idea here would be to take a normal stance, like a regular, your regular fighting stance, and if you want to kick, right, Instead of doing this and putting the weight on the back foot and start inching in or something like that, because my mind, even though I might think, oh, he put his weight on his back foot, my eyes register that and my brain automatically starts to react saying, okay, I know these things he can do and these things they, they can't do from there. So people, fighters pick up on this intuitively. It's not like they think about it in their head because if you think about it, it's too late. Your body just reacts to whatever the, your opponent is doing at, 
at higher and higher levels. Obviously, someone who's a lot better than me would be able to pick up on my faults very easily and expose them. So you don't want to, if you're in this kind of stance, you don't want to switch to this stance when you're trying to do something or switch to this stance. What you want to do is make that subtle, right? So if I'm here, my weight's evenly distributed, and I decide I'm going to start looking for a takedown and I switch my weight, now you can barely see that, that change in weight. Same thing if I switch it to the back leg, right? There's not that much difference. You don't really see I'm not doing this or this, or if I want to do a spinning technique, I'm not doing this before I spin, right? I don't start walking towards you like this, like I'm going to spin unless I'm faking. Now, the exception to this rule would be if your bread and butter is wrestling and you don't care about the striking or anything like that, if you're just a straight up wrestler or you're a straight up kickboxer and you want to take a kickboxing stance then that's fine that's your bread and butter I'm talking what I'm talking about is changing your stance to show that you're going to do something okay if there's a lot plenty of people who can just inflict their will that you know they're going to try and take you down they take you down you know somebody's going to go for that leg tech leg kick and they leg kick you right that's just the way of the world some people are really good at that stuff but what I am saying is as a beginner, you don't want to change your stance trying to find what you want to do next. So like I start doing this or moving forward when I want to take down or turning to the side when I want to just kick off my front leg or do a turning technique. So let me know what you think of this in the comments below and we'll see you guys next time. Please subscribe for more.